Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Ankit Parak. I work as a consultant in pediatric pulmonology, allergy and sleep medicine at Children's Chest Clinic in UK. So in this video, we'll talk about a common food allergy, which is an allergy to wheat or wheat allergy. We'll talk about what are the common symptoms of wheat allergy in children, how do we diagnose them, is wheat allergy different from a celiac disease? And if a child has allergy to wheat, then what needs to be done? Now, wheat allergy is one of the common food allergies that we see all across the world. And it figures amongst the top eight food allergens which causes food allergy. The other cold food, common food allergens are milk, egg, soy, nuts, and seafood. Allergy to wheat can happen if a child eats any product which contains wheat, which might be breads, which might be roti, which might be biscuits, etc. It can also happen if you have if you are in contact with a wheat flour which can be just by inhaling it or it can also be if the child gets in contact with the wheat flour on the skin. So what are the symptoms of wheat allergy? So the symptoms of wheat allergy develop quickly whenever you have contact with wheat in any form as we have talked about. Children can develop a very itchy skin, a red skin. They can develop hives on the skin, cold as a decarium. They can develop swelling of the lips or the tongue, of the hands and the feet, a condition called as angioedema. They can be a runny nose, they can be a blocked nose. Children can start coughing. They can develop difficulty in breathing and shortness of breath. And they can develop sounds in breathing, either in the form of a strider or a wheeze. Children can also develop tummy symptoms like vomiting. They can develop abdominal crampy pain. They can have loose motions. These symptoms could be mild, but sometimes remember that these symptoms could be severe. They can be difficulty in breathing. The child can have a weak pulse, the child can faint, and this situation is termed as anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is a very severe allergy reaction, which is an emergency and needs to be managed urgently. A very common question which parents ask is that is wheat allergy same as celiac disease? Well, no. Wheat allergy and celiac disease are two different types of illnesses. Now, both are caused by reaction to proteins in the wheat, but the response of the body is totally different. In wheat allergy, the symptoms appear quickly, immediately, and are quite different from as compared to a celiac disease. We've talked about symptoms of wheat allergy. Now, in celiac disease, the lining of the intestine gets damaged because of constant exposure to a protein in wheat called as gluten. Now, that leads to malabsorption. The body is not able to absorb the proteins in the, uh, uh, in the wheat and in the, in the rest of the diet. That leads to poor weight gain poor height, chronic diarrhea and other problems. And these symptoms gradually develop over time and are not immediate. So both these conditions are totally separate. Now if a child has a reaction to wheat, then how do we diagnose it? For diagnosis of wheat allergy, we can do 
two types of investigation. The gold standard investigation is a skin prick test where we apply allergens on the forearm of the child. We put a drop of these allergens and we scratch it gently with a lancet. The test is quick, it is not expensive, it takes around 10 to 15 minutes. There is no blood and no pain. Now, if a child has allergy to wheat, then the place at where we have scratched with the lancet, it forms a small mosquito bite type of a reaction and some redness called as a wheel and flare reaction and that confirms the wheat allergy. We can also use a blood test, which is best done in the form of an immunocap, which is now available and is a, again a good investigation to confirm or refute the diagnosis. Now, if a child has wheat allergy, then what needs to be done? Well, it's quite obvious to understand that if a person has allergy to wheat, then you need to avoid wheat products. It is not as simple. Wheat is contained in, in most products that we eat. Wheat is a staple diet for Indians, especially North Indians. And hence, most of the things which are available, breads, rotis, biscuits, etc. contain wheat. Wheat can also be an ingredient in some products where you don't expect them, for example, ice cream, sauces, etc. And hence, you need to get in touch with an allergist and a nutritionist to understand that what products contain wheat. You need to learn how to label, how to read the food labels which are there. You need to be very careful when you are dining out to understand and to inform the restaurant that, that the child is allergic to wheat. You also need to be very careful when you are sending your child to daycare and school and to properly inform the school authorities regarding food allergies. Still, accidental reactions do happen and hence any child who has a wheat allergy or any food allergy we will always provide something known as an allergy action plan. And the allergy action plan talks about what needs to be done in an emergency. So what needs to be done if there are mild symptoms? You need to treat the child with an antihistamine. But if the symptoms are getting severe in the form of sharpness of breath, in the form of dizziness, in the form of fainting, in the form of vomiting or abdominal cramps, these might be signs of an anaphylaxis. And the allergy action plan, hence, would, would guide you that at this situation, the best treatment would be injectable epinephrine. Every parent or caregiver of a child who has wheat allergy needs to know how to administer epinephrine. So, if your child is having symptoms of wheat allergy, you need to get in touch with a pediatric allergist to get it properly diagnosed, to have proper understanding about the disease and what the child can eat and what the child cannot eat. And also, you need to get training on the allergy action plan and you also need to have a training on the administration of epinephrine for emergency use. So for more information, you can log on to our website, ankitparak.com. Thank you.